coming at you from New York City. We are here in New York. Actually, I'm here alone in New York. Katie's joining me in a couple days. Um, here for a little bit of work uh, and just meeting some groups that we have coming into the city. So I came in a couple days early and I'm going to start this video with a little bit of a summary on our flight report from our Air Canada flight we took from Vancouver to Toronto on the Dreamliner in Economy class. So get a little bit of a fill for, for what the Economy class looks like and I have one of the preferred seats so you can see what the difference is between the bulkhead seat versus uh, just a regular seat. This is the Dreamliner, so we fly on a Dreamliner uh, in economy class. So get a little bit of a different feel for some of our business business class reviews on the Dreamliner. Now you get to see the economy class and how it compares. Um, for sure one of the bulkhead on a long haul flight. So we're flying in the uh, bulkhead seating here and quite a bit of leg room actually. I'm six foot four and I can stretch out quite a bit. No issue there. This is actually seat 18H, so I've got all the leg room all the way out to the front there. I sell it as a premium seat um, for $60 extra, just for a short haul flight, but I ended up getting it for free because I just had seated in it, which is awesome. Um, but if you really need the leg room, it is great. Tons of extra leg room, because on a couple of these flights I've been super, super cramped, which has been awful. I'm not in the window seat, but they have the auto dimming one where you just push the button and it dims or brightens um, to, instead of having an actual shutter. So it's a nice new plane. Seats are relatively comfortable. For amenities, we have a whole lot of nothing. Um, although there is. Wait for it. Don't know how to get it out. Got a TV screen in the seat. Comes up. You got movies. Um, all sorts of information. Games you can play. Full entertainment system. They actually have a really good entertainment system on these new planes. Uh, lots of new movies, so tons to watch, tons to do. Keep myself busy with that today. You can see the premium economy ahead, and they're two by two for, instead of three. And the side here, you've got the little remote. I don't even think it comes out though. You can adjust things on your screen there, and you've got the, you lean your seat back here. And there's a headphone jack in the front, it's a single jack. Because we're in the front seat, we've got our tray in the armrest here, instead of it coming down from in front of you. So you can see on some of these other back seats, they have this other seat in front. Uh, not a lot of leg room in those. Personally, the last time we flew this was going down to Bogota, and I actually we were flying to Toronto, but it was unbelievably uncomfortable. So, so uh, short on the leg room. It was so uncomfortable. Was not a huge fan, but sitting in the bulk, it makes a massive difference because I can stretch my legs out, tons of space, um, and then the amenities are really nice. Lots of space. I mean, the seats aren't that wide, but really, it's doable. It's not the end of the world, especially for a flight that's only four and a half hours to New York. Just for the record, there is power. Every seat has an outlet. All the dual plane. Check out our most recent other videos over here, or subscribe to our other channel over here.